Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 18th of 2024 is titled A Solar Prominence Eruption from SDO. So what do we see here? Well, here we have an image from 2011, and this looks at an image from the Solar Dynamics Observatory, and it's actually a short video clip that we're going to look at. This is actually about a 90 minute time lapse. So we're looking at about 90 minutes worth, and it's going to play in about eight seconds. So we've come press down what would take an hour and a half down to just a few seconds. Now we're looking at this in ultraviolet light, which is very prominent in the earth in the sun's upper atmosphere. And that's because the temperatures are a little bit higher as you get higher up above and at the temperature where ultraviolet light becomes very common. Now, when we look at the video, and we'll just put it on repeat as we discuss it, what we're going to see is the solar prominence kind of erupt off the surface. And you can see how some of that material gets thrown up and then falls back down to the surface. So you can watch some of that go up and you'll watch a lot of that material rain back down on the surface of the sun in that very hot plasma thousands of degrees in temperature as it rains back down on the surface. Now what happens is that it gets lifted up by the sun's magnetic field. So the sun has a magnetic field just like Earth and that magnetic field gets all twisted and tangled because of the way the sun rotates. So it rotates in what we call a differential manner meaning that the poles rotate slower than the equator and that causes the magnetic field lines to get kind of dragged around and stretched and twisted and tangled. And that causes the 11 year cycle of the sun. But when those happen, those can kind of pop through the surface and lift material off. Now we can see them in terms of solar prominences such we look at here. And we can see them in terms of solar flares, which is a much more intense eruption. And we can see solar flares or coronal mass ejections that will do something similar, but on a much faster time scale. So here we get to see a little bit of that in this one prominence that erupted back in 2011. However, there was there have been more recent ones. In fact, recently we've had larger eruptions and there we had if, when they come to Earth, if they happen to come in the direction of Earth, that can cause some of the aurora that we see. And in fact, that we saw this past weekend with the Perseid meteor showers. We also saw a lot of auroral activity because of a storm on the sun, a little bit more intense than this, but that spewed material out into space that happened to be directed toward Earth. So that was our picture of the day for August 18th of 2024. It was titled a solar prominence eruption from SDO. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be star cocoon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.